When id Software rebooted Doom in 2016, it garnered raving reviews for its return to its roots with tight gunplay, great level design while ditching the horror elements of Doom 3, and not to mention its badass soundtrack. Fans were waiting eagerly for its sequel, but can Doom Eternal live up to the hype and improve on what was an already stellar game or will it leave players disappointed and damning this thing back to hell? Well, it's time to find out. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Doom Eternal takes place some years after the events of the first game with the demons having invaded and taken over most of Earth with the human race fighting a seemingly losing war against them. The Doom Slayer now has his own home away from home floating in space, orbiting Earth like the Watchtower but instead of the Justice League, you get just one pissed off Doom Slayer who now has to fight a bunch of Hell Priests to try and put a stop to this invasion. The story of Doom Eternal is straightforward which allows for gamers to get right into the action instead of being held back with the storytelling being mainly done through codex pages you find littered throughout levels as well as audio logs expanding the lore. This time around, there are also more cutscenes than the previous game which makes the game feel a little more cinematic and helps serve as a break from the relentless action. Even though the main crux of the story is basically, demons invade earth, Doom Slayer kills demons. The game does a good job bringing you to different places as the Slayer can now planet hop around from his demonic fortress of solitude. Now what's there to say about 2016's Doom soundtrack that hasn't already been said? Mick Gordon killed it then and it continues to slay it in Eternal. The music gets your blood pumping as it matches the fast and intense gameplay, with the slayer ducking and dodging, shooting and tooting, demons screeching and screaming, all while the soundtrack is blasting. It becomes this insane cacophony that somehow works so well together and just elevates the experience to another level. Well, if you enjoyed 2016's soundtrack, it's safe to say you're gonna love Eternals. My soul remains guarded! You can Attention, all mortally challenged personnel. The Slayer is inside the facility. Please proceed with aggression. Now, Doom Eternal isn't exactly dialogue heavy, but what's offered here is good. Characters sound like how you would imagine them to, with Hell Priest sounding wormy and scratchy, while otherworldly beings have enough reverb and effects in their voice that makes everything they say sound 10 times more epic. All in all, the voice work here was good. Sound effects here are great, with the weapons having a good punch to them whenever you fire anything. It offers great feedback to the already tight gameplay and when mixed with the rest of the audio, this is one game that makes you wonder why they even have the option to mute it. I ran the game on an RTX 2070 with a Ryzen 9 CPU at 4K and I must say that the game looked great, with very minimal frame drops. Character models are all very well done, with the designs of the demons looking like they came straight out of hell. Doom Eternal introduces body destruction where the more damage you inflict on the enemy, the more chunks of flesh flies off them which is really gross but weirdly satisfying, and also provides a great visual feedback where instead of traditional health bars, you can literally see how much damage you have done. The environments here have also taken a step up as now the levels are more varied and you aren't just staring at orange and red levels all the time. And the added colours and new vistas you visit even towards the end of the game helps it feel fresh even when you are already more than 10 hours in. But is the game fun? That's the real question. And I'm happy to say that it's even more fun than Doom 2016 which itself is kinda crazy. 
8 software has improved on what made the first game so great. The classic 8 software's gunplay is back and better than ever, with new gameplay mechanics like the meat hook, which allows the Doomslayer to grapple onto enemies and shotgun them in the face. Levels also have an added sense of verticality, now with the Slayer being able to climb and clamber up walls and swing from poles. And when you chain everything together, the Doomslayer is now zipping around the level and killing demons with a newfound freedom. There are also new enemy types, like the Carcass, that can put up shields that act as barriers when you're trying to close in for the kill, forcing you to change up your strategy. Or Marauders that act as mini bosses, where to defeat them you have to get into this dance of shooting them at the right moment to open them up to damage and dodging their swift attacks. The demons aren't the only ones with upgrades. The Slayer now has a shoulder cannon taken straight out of the Predator that can act as a flamethrower or lob a freeze bomb. Enemies burning will drop armor when damaged and when paired with glory kills, the game encourages you to constantly be on the offense. New to this game as well is the Blood Punch, which can be charged after performing two glory kills. This Blood Punch, which does an AoE melee attack, clears up some space and is useful for getting out of tight spots. Like the previous game, secrets can be found off the beaten path and behind destructible walls. Eternal introduces Slayer Gates, which are challenge rooms which can be unlocked after you found the key. These gates can be challenging as they throw many stronger enemies at you and oftentimes I found them the most intense parts of the game. Weapon upgrades are also back and now you can upgrade your suit as well by using coins that you find hidden throughout levels. These suit upgrades can reduce the cooldown of your grenades or do things like respawn explodable barrels which really changes up your playstyle the more you unlock. The Doomslayer's Fortress also acts as a hub where you can unlock new collectibles and gear and has a dungeon where you can test out weapons on enemies. It was fun to explore the fortress and find the Slayer's Room where the collectibles you find are displayed on this shelf which gives him some added personality. Doom Eternal has a simple formula, which is basically shoot demons until they die, but it makes it so damn satisfying that you'll be darting to the next arena to kill more and more. If you were a fan of Doom 2016, you should definitely buy this. Although there were some gameplay freezes and bugs that made me have to restart the checkpoint to fix it, those were few and far between. Doom Eternal was everything I wanted in a sequel. The lore is expanded, the gameplay is somehow better than the first, and has breathed some much needed new life into this oversaturated genre. Not to mention, the soundtrack here has some absolute bangers. It's great to see a AAA title evolving what can be done in an FPS, and its software should definitely be commended on what they have achieved here.